So got to watch the newly released out on Netflix on January 25th, the six part series called Griselda. And this series is based off of Griselda Blanco, who fled from Colombia, came to the United States, Miami specifically, and became one of the most ruthless and badass cartels in history. And a couple things about this. Number one, it did not need to be six parts. I'm just saying it didn't have to. Sofia Vigaro plays the main character, Griselda Blanco, in this series. She is decent. And I think the fault doesn't lie entirely with her when it seemed not okay. I think it was the writing. The writing is kind of subpar in a lot of ways. From the beginning and the jump of the series, they make it seem like Blanco was doing this to escape an abusive husband and to make a better life for her kids. Like that's sort of this undertone that, that they had to lay that groundwork out in this to make it where a woman couldn't just be in a hole and somebody that was thirsty. And I mean, bottom line is she didn't care about any of that stuff. She only cared about doing, being the biggest and the baddest drug dealer that that is really who she was from what the other stuff that I've read about her through all the years. Um, what I can say about Sophia is she does a good job. I know that a lot of people are kind of put off by some of the prosthetics on her face and her teeth, but that had to be done because if you go back and look at the real Griselda Blanco, she is no Sophia Vigaro. They make her still seem glamorous in a way. And that also, I think, was not the reality of the situation and or the sense that I got of the reality of the situation. Another thing I didn't care for was the music in this. They did not budget to include real to- real life trending music of that time that was popular. So like when they're in the discotheque it's not Donna Summer playing or something that you know, it's just some other random disco song. Um, and then there were also parts it, with the with the music that was off-putting. So like at the end of episode two, there's a serious thing that happens. I think it's at the end of episode two. It's like a, this really serious thing that happens and then there's this really kitschy, strange music that starts playing. And I'm kind of like, I didn't, I, I don't know how that really fit together at, or they were trying to lighten up what was happening. I wasn't quite sure about that, but the music in it, I didn't understand um, at all. So that was another thing. And the overall production of the film, I don't think was great. It seemed really not, it seemed a little low budget. I don't even know if they filmed this in Miami. I'd be curious. I didn't look it up but it didn't look like they were in Miami to me. So I give it a two out of four stars. And the reason why I do this is because there are so many other really great shows that are similar that I've given three or four stars. And I just can't give this a three or four because those, this, this Griselda is subpar to some of those. And I feel like I'd be doing them a disservice. Um, Good filmmaking and good series. This is entertaining. I do think that they could have condensed it. I did not think it needed to be six episodes. Oh, the, there's these subplots that really make no sense and do not need to be there. I just didn't get some of these subplots. Again, I think they were forcing the length of this, which we see this a lot happening lately, especially in Netflix shows. So go check it out. It's out on Netflix now. Griselda.